Welcome to the Daily Bible Wisdom. Today we are going to see Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. This proverb today really sets us on the right path. This is a terrific call from the prophets to trust in the Lord with all our heart and not to rely on our own insight. What is trust here? The Proverbs tells us that we must surrender all our will, all our thinking, all that we think we are strong about, our confidence, our knowledge, Let's say all our certificates of education, we must all surrender them to God and then trusting in Him and not just in our insight and knowledge, we must live this life. Something that I feel wonderful to know about my Christian life, Jeremiah beautifully says, Lord, I commit my entire cause to you. That's all. That is needed to begin with as we begin a new day today. All that is needed to begin with is whether we are ready to let go, whether we are ready to surrender, whether we are ready to give into the mighty hand of God, whether we acknowledge that he has better ideas and plans for us. And therefore, when we begin a new day today, it reminds us once again that there is a powerful, mighty God who can do better for us, when we entrust ourselves into his hands. Sometimes you could feel that we have all the calculation going well. Sometimes we feel that all that we are planning, doing well, is all okay. But there are also times when nothing works for us. We prepare, we study, we plan, we save up, but we end up nowhere. We think that our plans, our thinking, all that we want to do will all that is needed for our life, not including the person of God. So Proverbs tells us today that on a daily basis, if we really want to do well in our life, the best way is to offer up ourselves, to trust in the Lord, to include him, not as an outsider, but as part and parcel of our life. Not just as a side-by-side -side person, but the one who really influences our thoughts, words and actions today. The Proverbs tells me, you must trust the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own inside. Why? So that if you are able to acknowledge Him in all your ways, He will make your path straight. He will help you that you may not walk in crooked ways. As the famous saying, God can even read straight in crooked line. Such is the Lord when you are ready to trust Him, when you are ready to give into His will, His plans, His ways of thinking. Many things become straight and we need it today. And I pray today for you that you may trust in the Lord and not just rely on all that you are and have. For He is a God of mighty hand, powerful will, who can lead you and guide you. So the Proverbs tells us today that in all that you want to do, capable of doing, planning to do, acknowledge the hand of God and he will straighten up things for you in all the ways you can imagine and in a way that you can't even imagine. For the letter to the Romans says, God gives to the one he loves in ways that you can't measure. Doesn't the word of God say therefore, he makes all things possible as well. I will give you two examples for today. One is the example of Abraham, who from nowhere in a place called Hur came to the Holy Land with just relying and trusting in what God said, not looking back. Perhaps he was afraid, but he always knew that now that he has said yes to God, he will move forward. He will listen to him. He will obey, even to the extent that God tests him is prepared because somewhere deep down he knows God always has a plan B. Other example, modern example is Mother Teresa. 
She must have been very comfortable in Loreto convent, all going well. In fact, she was a successful teacher and doing all that. But when she hears that voice from God, she had to make a hard decision, which she does. And now the challenge comes to the voice that spoke to her. She has to commit herself 100% without any reservation. And which she does again, but it takes all her energy, all her will, all her thinking, let's say all her craziness perhaps, into the hands of God. And what comes out, comes out as a saint today. This is important message for us today. And I pray to God for that, so that you and me may be able to trust entirely in God, not just relying on our own insight. I pray for you today. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.